Here's a key result concerning uh, multivariate expected values. If x1 up to xn are random variables, and notice here it doesn't say if they're discrete or if they're continuous, they could be either. And furthermore, it doesn't say if those random variables are independent or if they're dependent. That doesn't matter either. So this is a very general result. Then the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of g sub i of x sub i is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of the expected value of g sub i of x sub i for any functions g1, g2 up to gn. Now here are a couple important special cases of this particular result. The first is the expected value of x1 plus x2 plus xn is the expected value of x1 plus the expected value of x2 up to the expected value of xn. In this case, these functions g sub i of x sub i just happen to be x sub i. You will hear this in the future called the expected value of the sum is the sum of the expected values. This one comes up all the time. Second ex important special case is the expected value of a linear combination is a linear combination of the expected values.